praise the Lord. Just a little uh, sharing from uh, Mark chapter 12, uh, verses 41 to 44. It's a very interesting uh, uh, st story of a, of a widow, and I'm going to read it to you uh, from verse 41 to 44 of Mark chapter 12. It says here, uh, I'm reading from the Amplified Version, so it, it's a little bit amplified in other words. And he sat down, this is Jesus, he sat down opposite the treasury and saw how the crowd was casting money into the treasury. Many rich people were throwing in large sums. So we have Jesus here in the temple and he is by the treasury where, where the money is put by the people or brought or the, the people bring their offerings in, in, in cash. Uh, and he, he, he sees a big crowd. And in the crowd, he sees that there are many, many rich people here who are throwing. Now, I, I like the word throwing. I'm sorry, I didn't like the word throwing. But I made a note of this word throwing. Because they are not bringing their gift or their love offering to the Lord, but they are throwing. What does it tell you? That means they're just throwing. Uh, it doesn't really probably matter much to them because they have maybe a lot. We'll find out if that is the case. Uh, and so they were just throwing. You don't throw things which are cost, costly to you, yeah? You sort of would lay it down or put it in a nice way. So we see that these rich people are throwing money. But we'll find out how much are they throwing, whether they are really throwing all of their money or whether they are throwing just a little bit of their money. Anyway, so here we are in 42. And a widow who was poverty stricken came and put in two copper mites, the smallest of the coins, which together make half of a cent. So we have a widow here now. And she is poverty stricken, it says in my Bible. In some other translations, it might be, it might say poor. And um, she comes with two copper mites uh, in her hand. And then in verse 43, it says, and, uh, yeah, and came and put. You see, the difference between throwing and putting. She came and she put. But the others just threw. But she put. And I believe that was, first of all, quite quite an amazing, amazing thing that she did. But it's not finished there. Let's read 43. And he called his disciples to him and said to them, Truly and surely I tell you, the widow who is poverty stricken has put in more than all those contributing to the treasury. So Jesus said that lady who just came with that small amount of money has put more than all the others who had just thrown their money. Well, it says that these people threw big sums of money, large amounts. Uh, but this lady just came with a little. So what is Jesus trying to say? The answer is in verse 44. And let's read that and gives us an amazing understanding of what she really did and how we can learn from this lady when we bring our offering to the Lord. Hallelujah. So it says in 44, For they all threw in out of their abundance. Again, the word is repeated. They all threw in out of their abundance. So in other words, just to make it very simple, if they had 100 pounds or 100 euros, they must have given 10 euros. That is not a lot to them because why? They have another 90 for them. But she, it says here, out of her deep poverty, that means she might have had one euro, has put in everything that she had. So imagine she had one euro and she gave that one euro. So who has given more? The ones who threw a large sums of money? Or do you think that this lady who had nothing but just what that she had, she gave? Did she put more? So it's not about the quantity. It's about the quality that we can give to God. And so today the encouragement can be for all of us, not just in terms of money. It can be in terms of uh, our time that we can give God or to 
people in helping them, the energy that we can give God, the time that we can worship God, the time we can praise God, the time we go to church, the energy and the health and the, the, the physical blessings and good health that we have, we can give God and many other things. We can use our house to bless the Lord, invite strangers sometimes and give them food, especially during this time of Christmas that is coming. We can look for opportunities to send money to poor people, to widows, to orphans, to old people who might not have much, to, to, to other causes, charity causes, as the Lord will lead us. So today the encouragement, the encouragement is to give our best to God. And as we all know, 10% belongs to God. We cannot send our 10% to some other causes and think that it's okay. 10% belongs to God. And then the love offering is something above and more over after our uh, our tithes. That is 10%. So bring what God has put on your heart today. There is no force for anyone to give 10 pounds or 10 euros or 100 euros. If you want to give 1 euro, it's up to you. If you want to give 10 euros, up to you. If you want to give a 100 euros today, it's your personal choice. But whoever gives all that really matters, there's a reward from the Lord. So God bless you and hope you be a good giver. In Jesus' name, Amen.